Hello everyone and welcome to another very exciting harvest video here on the MI Gardener channel. I know you all are going to love this video because you all say, hey, you got to do more harvest videos. And so here we are, we're going to do a harvest video. So in this spot here, we have planted our peas. Now these peas are the dwarf Tom Thumb pea. They're an heirloom variety and we have a video showing how we grew these here. So if you're interested in, in knowing how uh, how we grew our peas so close together with a bunch of other stuff. And um, this was uh, this was how. Uh, the one thing we really loved about this was it allowed us to plant a really low growing variety, as you'll see, that honestly gets no more than probably, I'd say 10 inches tall at most. Now this is an absolutely amazing plant to grow for anyone in containers. Um, we're gonna be planting up some containers with some Tom Thumb peas after we harvest these. Because one thing that you'll uh, learn through growing this variety, if you do grow it, is that the the plant stops producing once it produces fruit. So it will grow its full length, then it will flower, and after it flowers, it sets its all of its fruit at once, and then it's done. Unlike other more indeterminate pea varieties that will continue growing and flowering as long as the season allows, uh, these are not that case. So you do have some pros and cons with, with every variety, but this variety allows, it's so compact that it allows you to grow I'm right next to other plants, which gives you this super high density planting of, of crops that, that really you'd not be able to get with a normal pea variety because it would shade something out or it would constantly be crawling and smothering out other plants. We've done it before with other pea varieties, it just did not fly. So uh, super, super, super happy with how it has grown. So coming in close, check this out, this stuff is beautiful it's like it's so picture perfect that it, it belongs in a magazine i wish man i wish somebody would uh i wish somebody would come out here and and film some film some stuff for like a magazine or, or take some pictures um because it's just it's so picture perfect so coming in close and the, the the camera will do no justice to what i see but we'll try our best let's go I just love growing peas. It is something that I think everyone should try growing. They're so nutritious, so sweet and crisp and oh man, it's just there's so much that you can get out of a pea plant. I mean, if you want to harvest for if you want to grow fully mature peas, you can get you can get the the peas or if you want them early, you can have them like snap snap peas. And they are just so versatile in cooking as well as uh, just you know, pretty much anything you want to do with peas you can do we, we throw them in stir fries we throw them in salads we um, oh man it's just we use them in everything we'll let them mature fully to their full mature peas sometimes and uh, and then what we do is we will actually uh, shuck the 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 you know the the shell of the pea and we'll take the peas throw them in with some rice and make mexican rice that is an awesome thing to do with them as well but all in all this is a real productive variety i'm super happy each plant still has some some fruit on it that, that i'm leaving behind so i'm not harvesting all the peas but um, just from about five or six plants i've got Got a pretty decent haul here. So they, and they, you know, they don't produce a ton per plant. Um, it's not like a normal pea variety. It's a dwarf. So you're going to, again, you're going to have some limitations to what it will produce. But all in all, I'm, I'm very happy with it. I'm really surprised with how much it did produce. And I will definitely be growing this one again. And it's so nice having them on both sides of this trellis here because it allows you to grow twice the amount of peas in really the same same uh, same amount of space as, as one because a lot of times people just use one side of a trellis but with a this small pea variety there's not really any competition for sun and there's not a whole lot of competition for water or nutrients or things like that so 
they, they can be grown so close together that I just throw them on each side of the trellis and they, they do just fine. There's no yelling of leaves or anything. It just really did super well. So I'm, I'm really loving this variety. So I just finished up harvesting what, uh, what I wanted to pick here. We're gonna have a stir fry. So we'll use quite a bit of these in that. But all in all, got about a pound and a half of peas. You know, it's nothing super huge. But what I always say is that a harvest is better than no harvest. And the fact of the matter is, is we're still going to get, like I said, about two or three harvests out of here because I let some stay on the plant to, to get larger. So um, even if we get another pound or so, that's going to be great. It's going to be uh, food that we don't have to buy from the store. It's going to be grown organically and it's going to be grown and picked fresh and grown by me, which, you know, there's just nothing beats that. So really love this variety. I really do love it. Even though it doesn't produce as much as other pea varieties, the fact that it's compact, the fact that it's, you can plant it super close together, the fact that it's an heirloom, the fact that you can use it for both uh, shelling and uh, snap peas, it's versatile. Um, and, and, you know, it's got great flavor too. I'll try one. I have not, uh, tried one on camera yet so I'll do that but teaser I did try one the other day so I'm a little biased to the flavor but I mean whoa it is so sweet that this is probably one of the sweetest snow peas uh or like sweetest pea varieties I've ever grown and I'd kind of I would kind of almost compare it to like a snow pea um it is just wow sweet so um absolutely love this variety Mm, these might not make it indoors. <laughs> so anyways, hopefully you all enjoyed. Hopefully you enjoyed this harvest video. We're doing lots more harvest videos as um, stuff is ready to harvest. We're going to be doing zucchini harvesting real soon. We've got zucchini starting to form. So uh, stay tuned for more videos. Definitely love the fact that, um, that we grew these. It was a good decision to make. And uh, yeah, so as always, this is Luke from the My Garden Channel reminding you to grow big or go home. All right, see you guys later. Bye.